Enough graffiti vandals tag the usual marks, trains, overpasses, and abandoned buildings. But lately, they're spray painting hundreds of stores, businesses, even trucks. Business owners are so fed up, city council is now taking action. News Channel 5's Paul Kiska is live tonight in downtown Cleveland. And Paul, those arrested for graffiti will now face more than just a slap on the wrist. Well, that's right, Dina. You know, usually the maximum penalty for this is up to six months in jail behind bars. But with jails overcrowded, judges rarely do that, except for the most serious offenders. But now, one Cleveland City Council member has come up with a way to make the law tougher, so that these graffiti vandals pay up and do some time cleaning up. These are legitimate businesses, and they're also, if you look upstairs, there's people living up there. Graffiti vandals in Cleveland have been hitting legitimate businesses, homes, and just about anything they feel like vandalizing. 117 buildings tagged in Cleveland City Councilwoman Donna Brady's Ward 17 last year alone. We got it all cleaned up. And we had a mild winter, and now we have 87 more locations. Brady was so fed up, she urged Cleveland City Council to make Cleveland's graffiti law tougher, and they did. Now it's mandatory that convicted graffiti vandals clean up the mess at their own expense and spend 100 hours of community service cleaning up other graffiti. Graffiti that paints perception. It is a horrendous crime, and it's not being taken seriously enough. And it makes people wonder should I move into this neighborhood? Maybe it's time to leave. Maybe there's gangs here. Businesses. Is this a good place for me to start my business? I think it costs us about $24,000. Bob Zabel's nationally known Paramount Distillery on Cleveland's west side was hit so hard by graffiti vandals, it cost twenty-four grand to paint over the ugly graffiti. Councilwoman uh, Brady has uh, been very proactive in, in helping us out with this. And uh, I think that there has to be some kind of a deterrent to stop these vandals from doing it. Graffiti so prevalent around here, we found this guy cleaning up his apartment after it was vandalized. It's a blight on our community, and, you know, it's just got to stop. And if you have information that leads to the arrest and conviction of a graffiti vandal in Dona Brady's Ward 17 there on Cleveland's West Side near Lorraine Avenue, you can get a reward up to $2,500 cash. In downtown Cleveland tonight, Paul Kiska, News Channel 5.